Hello, my name is Stephen McCullough. I wrote and directed Grip. Hi, my name is Anne McCullough. I edited and produced Grip. And together we're going to take you by the hand on a warm adventure that will take you across the galaxy. It won't really. It's our uh, production diary for our movie Grip. So hang on to your seats, folks, because it's a whirlwind ride of emotions. Yeah. Today one was our first day of filming uh, where we shot uh, scenes outside the uh, castle building. Uh, unfortunately we didn't have any actors yet so obviously I had to step in and take the role of Ray. So that basically involved me in a uh, sleeveless t-shirt, wielding a baseball bat and running around the car park like a madman uh, at the start of January in the middle of winter which was just absolutely amazing. But uh, of course we did have some help from uh, a very seasoned cameraman, Paddy Stevenson, who I, of course, uh, gave you a lot of advice on how to hold the camera. Yeah, he taught, he taught me the camera technique we used for the scene where Ray's walking out through the metal gates. So yeah, that was day one, which was absolutely wonderful. We spent a lot of time within the actual castle building itself, got a lot of shots from the hallway of course where uh, Ray and Janine meet and uh, have the conversation, uh, obviously within the hallway outside his apartment door. Uh, now, I love the castle building, I love shooting there, it's a great location for getting lots of great shots. Uh, there's a very high balcony there which emphasises uh, the sort of vertical terror that uh, is apparent the whole way through our grip, so that was great in order to get a lot of shots in there as well. Uh, of course, it was our first day working with Emma, uh, the only actress who decided to sign on with us. Uh, we originally had two other actors, but unfortunately they dropped off to pursue other projects. And um, yeah, it was, it was a very good work experience working with her, so um, I have to say she was very professional. Um, today we were filming Janine and Brian's scenes for Crip. <sighs> I don't know, I can't think of anything. What do you think of it? It was good, yeah. It was fun. I know more art. Well, it was experience for me because I'm not going to be actress, so I need to get used to people with cameras and stuff and being told what to do. She was very nervous at the very beginning of it, but after she settled into the role, she worked really well. Overall, do you think it was a good experience? Yeah, I think it was. Can you say, I think it was a good experience? I think it was a good experience. One more? <laughs> I think it was a good experience. Would you do it again? Yeah. No, it's like you have to say, I would do it again. I would do it again. So that was fun and that was day two. Day three we filmed at uh, Castle Gardens, which is the little park just opposite Castle Building. And it was a very good day that day. We got so many shots. Uh, we got Janine walking toward the cliff, which is the wall. Obviously her jumping up on the wall, her falling off. Uh, Ran and Sid running up to help her, uh, loads of stuff, we got like tons of shots that day. Uh, Jane actually hanging off the cliff too, so lots of shots that day, it was very, very productive. And uh, of course it was our first day working with our uh, quote unquote actors, uh, Phil and Ryan, uh, who we literally just had to pick out of our own media class uh, in order to like get them involved in the production because the two actors that we had signed on obviously didn't want to do it anymore. So that's kind of explains why their acting isn't exactly up to scratch. Get lost, it's not my fault. You stay with Janine, I'll go get some help. Okay, right. okay. But uh, like in all fairness to them, they uh, did a great job for what it was. Yeah, they, uh, after a good laugh, they did work really hard. So fellas, how are you enjoying filming? <laughs> it's hardcore. <laughs> it's intense. Potential <laughs> sexual contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 sorry! Just kidding, okay? 
Get in the middle. I got that on film as well. <laughs> now, of course, on the third day, we did have a lot of uh, tricky things to film. Mainly the most trickiest was getting Emma to fall over the cliff. And I did this in a very ingenious way. Basically, I started off with having her get up on the cliff and have her legs pointing in one direction. And uh, then whenever it came to her falling off the cliff, I got her to turn around so her legs were facing the other way. And I shot it from a low angle to give the impression this was being shot from really far down looking up. So uh, I think that's probably where the surprise comes whenever you're watching the movie and you actually see her literally fall off the cliff, uh, like with no uh, harness or restriction or anything like that. So I think that worked out really well. And of course on the third day I got to use uh, really fancy equipment too, a uh, Steadicam, which uh, straps actually the whole air around your body, uh, around your torso, and this allows you to hold the camera completely steady while you walk toward the cliff. So we got a lot of really great shots with that. And um, also, it was also very good because I didn't actually fall over and damage the equipment at all. And here we come to day four, possibly the worst day of filming imaginable. It's just terrible. Um, the trouble being, of course, that the night before was the Super Bowl. And uh, Phil, of course, one of our actors plays Sid, uh, love staying up all night watching the Super Bowl live uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning and uh, getting drunk. So obviously the night, the day afterward, whenever he came in, he was uh, quite hungover. Phil, how are you feeling the day after the Super Bowl? Not well. I, you're right. After, after Steelers losing? <laughs> well, you have to admit, it's nice to see the Packers win for a change, eh? Mm. <laughs> also, I wasn't feeling too good either. I literally... I got a cold coming on or something, I don't know what uh, what was going on there. So uh, I really wasn't feeling up to scratch. So a lot of the shots out there are just very basic, very standard um, pans and so forth. And uh, it was raining too that day, so literally everybody was feeling very depressed when we were filming. But on the plus side though, we did manage to get our awesome shot, which I nicked directly off Danny Boyle from the movie Train Spotting. And uh, I think Steven Soderbergh used it as well. Whenever you see the three of them hiking and uh, you see that low angle, uh, and sideways and then the camera actually pans the whole way over uh, and watches them walk off again further on down the pathway so uh, we got that shot and I think that just looks excellent but, but for me that's one of the shots that makes the film and after day four inevitably comes day five now this was originally going to be shot, I think it was like our second day of filming, I think this was going to be, but we had to keep pushing it back and pushing it back. So uh, this is the, all of Rez interior apartments uh, shots, which was shot funnily enough in my actual flat in Lambeg. So that's why Ray is a fan of Iron Man and ACDC and Ghostbusters and Back to the Future. So uh, that was fun shooting there. And finally wrapping it all up was uh, day six. Now day six came obviously a lot later on uh, in filming because this was all our little reshoots and pickups and different scenes that uh, we had to shot or, or alter. Um, one of the shots obviously was whenever Janine looks over the cliff. Originally there we actually had what you saw over the cliff. Now the wall shape was almost quite high so I literally held the camera over it and uh, just shook it a little bit. But uh, whenever we cut it together in the edit it just didn't look threatening enough so uh, eventually what we ended up doing was going up to the top of a multi-story car park and uh, holding the camera over the side of it and shaking it so um, you got a, this really great like fall we also uh, reshot the establishing shot of Rez apartment door now uh, this originally was going to be sideways and it was going to zoom up to the door sideways and then turn, turn around but uh, unfortunately we didn't have the equipment to make that look smooth enough so I came up with this new shot and uh, we used a rudimentary dolly system where the camera starts pointing down from the balcony to the floor. This then pans upward, uh, turns across and focuses on the door. Then we zoom right up to the door and a massive knock and that's really put the audience off and scare them. And uh, I think that really works really well. It's a beautiful shot, it really adds to the ominous sort of feeling whenever you look towards Ray's parking. So there you have it, that's the end of our production diary. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.
like just getting out the boat, filming the boat, and uh, so yeah, it's a good day. Enjoyed it. But it was, overall, yeah, it was fun. Pretty good day. Got a lot of filming done. Those <laughs> <laughs> lines, balls being crossed on more. Over there was a good day. <laughs>